After many years of doing this program, there's a first. I'm the Body Smith. Today, we're going to work out in my living room. Having just gone through a pandemic, a lot more people are working out at home these days, and I'm one of them. I do a couple of workouts anyway at home each week, and I'd like to invite you to join me here today in my living room for the very first time. Let's take a big deep breath in and exhale out. Let's roll the shoulders back. Let's we'll start simple. Keep the abdominals pulled in. Even when you're not working out, keep those abdominals nice and strong. All right, reach up and down. Reach and extend. And don't criticize my housekeeping. I'll get to it later, I promise. <laughs> now side to side, press it out. All right. Now I have heard from some of you over the years saying sometimes it's difficult to work out in a small space, reach it out. Well, today I can relate. I know what you're talking about. You have to be real careful. Uh, I moved a bunch of the furniture out of the way so there'd be more room. Reach out, reach over the top, reach and extend. We'll start out high and work our way down. Let's do the other side. Reach over, reach out. Part of the workout was moving the furniture out of the way. Both arms up and out. Ouch. Now switch downward and out. Down, out. A little brain test here. Half curls, same arms. Can you do both at once? It's kind of like walking and chewing gum. Sometimes there has to be a little bit of concentration. Hold it here, reach it up, press it out to the side. Now one leg extend, reach down, other side. Give it two more on each side. Legs apart, reach up, reach down at an angle. We'll start to warm up through the core. Switch sides, reach down and up. Side to side. I always have to wonder though when I'm my only cameraman using an iPad, am I cutting off my head or my feet? <laughs> Hold it here, breathe in, and squat down, breathe in, exhale out. One more. All right, let's kick it out forward. And this is when that furniture needs to be out of the way. To the side, kick. Let's take the opposite arm. There we go. Get lower. Work harder. Ham curl, biceps. Less concentration on this one. Hey, 
and uh, take those legs apart, circle one arm back, then the other arm. A little higher than we did before. Four, three, two, march in place. All right, let's go for some cardio. We're going to do a functional training type workout today. Now the first one, we're gonna march three, kick on four. One, two, three, kick, low, 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 high. Functional training, what's that? It's just a way to work everything so that no matter how long you live, you're able to do things that you normally or have always been able to do, like get that box of cereal up at the top of the refrigerator. Now let's turn to the side. One, two, three, and the other side. Kick. And right here, we will keep warming up. So when we get to the other parts, we'll stay down there at least in the low end of the cardio zone. Two more. Last one. Now hold it here, breathe in. Exhale out, march it wide, take it down low. There we go, now work that upper body. Eight more, I can feel those quads warming up. Yes, four, three, so let's do some squats. You can sit back, sit. I've been thinking about you. Good song. Squat, eight more. I've heard it said you can't do too many squats. Well, I don't know about that. All right, let's do three pulses. On the fourth one, you're gonna raise it up high. Again, yes, keep going. Now instead of just that, raise it up, you're gonna lift one leg out to the side. Squat three, one, two, three, up. Perfect, keep going. I can feel my pulse rate going up. That's what we want. One more time. All right, let's tap the heel to the friend. But we gotta get a little more serious here. Take it down low. Now cross it over with a propulsion. The propulsion is optional. If you don't need it, you do not have to do it. To the side, hop over, like you're hopping over something. Jack, be nimble, jack, be quick. Jump on over that candlestick. Let's cross the legs behind, take the propulsion out for now. Tapping back. Oh, I'm so glad I invested in hardwood floors. Now, propulsion. Sturdy hardwood floors. Did that a few years ago. Let's go four more. Three, two, and one. Lift the knees. Are you feeling a lot warmer? I hope so, because we're getting ready to lift some weights. Let's turn the knees to the outside. Pull, pull, big, strong motion. Two more. And last one. Breathe in. Keep the feet moving. Exhale out. Pick up a set of weights if you don't have weights available. Just follow along. Work with resistance. Contract those muscles. Let's tap the heels forward. We're gonna do bicep curls. Turn the arms to the outside, and palms to the outside, and lift. Go, lift, and down. 
out. If you need to work harder, you can make yourself a little shorter. Here we go. Up by bending the knees. Keep going. Don't stop now. I think we got Britney Spears telling us to work, work. You better work, work. Stick beat disaster. <laughs> Two more. I'm kind of amused by the words of some of these songs. Now turn to the side. We're going to push down. Pull back. You're starting your lawnmower. Reaching for that pull cord. Pulling back. One down, three back, three, two, one, press. If the phone rings, will somebody else get it? I'm busy right now. I've still got a landline. I don't think it has a silencer on it or a mute button. Circle back. Circle. Excellent. I'm taking this slowly on purpose and bending the elbow. You don't want to take any chances with the shoulders. That is one of the most injured joints in the body because it does so much. Now, the elbow's back. Get ready for tricep kickbacks. Ready, go. Press. On this exercise, you want your shoulders to remain level. The one, the side you're working is going to want to kind of come up around the ear. Don't let it happen. And the only place you're moving really is the elbow. The area between the shoulder and the elbow, if they're higher, stays in place. Perfect. Two more. And now to the other side, turn it over, push down and pull back. Do I hear one of my favorite workout songs in the background? Seven Nation Army. One down, three back. Yes, I do. That song just makes you want to put out the extra effort. Two more here, and then we are going to get ready. Slow, controlled, circle back, go. This is one of those great full body exercises. I can feel it in a number of places. One more. Now, get ready for triceps. Kickbacks, ready? Go, push it back. Same rules on the other side. Shoulders relaxed and level, equal. Only working from the elbow down. That's gonna work the triceps. Four to go. Center. Let's put one weight down. And here, we're going to go side to side. Knees are bent. Only the shoulders, only the upper body moves. Very good. Let's take it a little higher. If this at all troubles your low back, don't do it. Do something else. Got those abdominal muscles pulled in really tight. Let's take it low to high. specifically on the obliques. Make sure you have a good grip. You don't want to lose that weight. Now, the other side, when you're ready. Low to high. Perfect. Two more. 
Last one. Now take the weight, take it from the knee and across the shoulders. What we're doing here is we are isolating the upper back, also getting some benefit for the low back. A couple more over here. I wish we had more time. We could do a lot of them. Now switch sides when you're ready, go for it. We've just got so much to do in the 28 and a half minute time limit we have for cable television. Three to go. And last time. Let's put that weight now out of the way. And I've got here a small ball. This is something you can very easily pick up in the dollar store. And I like to use it to Keep me focused on really working the muscle properly. So now we're going to do the pectorals. Put it between the heels of your hands and press really hard. Press, press, press. There are a lot of exercises that I do with the small ball, which weighs probably a pound or less. But if you can focus on the way you work the muscles, you're going to work them so much better. Let's try one here. Let's circle the ball over. You've got your abdominals pulled in tightly. Yes. The knees are bent. The shoulders only are turning. And we're working through the waist. The abs. Reverse direction. Perfect. Those abdominals pulled in and engaged. Let's alternate sides. Now you can do these kind of exercises holding a weight. I would recommend if you do that to go more slowly. Perfect. Two more. Now a little more for the upper back. Let's take the ball out and behind the back. Yes. And as you reach back, you're going to pull those shoulder blades together, contracting the muscles. We got the rhomboids in here. Small muscle groups are in between the shoulder blades. They're what help you contract the shoulder blades. Should we do a squat with it? Yes. Let's keep that cardio back. Keep that pulse up. Very good. Four to go. Two more. Let's do an underhanded reach. It's like you're bowling. Good. Aiming for that head pin. Bending that knee. Take it across. Pull back. Strong pull back. Here to go. Now the other side, roll it down. You're bowling. Four more. Straight across, pull back. Strong pull. Last four for now. Two to go. Last one, bring it to the center. Squat down, lift it up. Kind of a sneaky way to work the quads, the glutes, hamstrings. It's like, hey, we're playing with the ball, we're having fun. But we're actually getting some good work. Two more. And hold it down, put that weight down. Wait, it's a ball. Now I've got one more toy that I like to work with here when I'm doing functional training. Let's keep the feet moving for now. This is 
just tubing. It's like surgical tubing, only it's been fashioned with stirrups on the end. So you can do all sorts of cool things with it. So you're gonna grip in those stirrups, put it under the foot, make sure the foot is steady right under the insole, and bicep curl, come on up, lower down. Okay now, if we let that cardio start to come down, that pulse rate, breathe out, breathe in. Make sure you have neutral wrists. What does that look like? Straight across. You definitely don't want the wrists bent back or forward into a weird position. We'll do four more bicep curls. And then I think we better work the triceps, which is the opposing muscle of the biceps. And one more time. To set that up, we're gonna skip down, bring it down to a slack position, and then step up so it comes out safely. We're gonna put it down midline of the back, Grab on, can everybody see? Good, all right. Now your hand, you're gonna keep the neutral position and you're going to push. You wanna feel the exercise through the back of the upper arm. If you are not feeling it there, then you probably don't have enough tension on the band. You just reach down a little bit more, a little bit higher onto the band, and that should correct it. And of course, if you're having trouble extending the arm to a full range of motion, you probably need to let up a little bit on that tension. Keep going, four more. And last one. Let's do the other side. Good, let it out easy. Put your hands straight through. You ready? Go. Push. Notice I've got my elbow out forward. It's a little bit higher than shoulder level. But you definitely don't want it all the way directly up. You can really make your shoulders unhappy. I like to have happy shoulders. Breathe out. Breathe in. This is where you really need to work on getting that oxygen in. Don't hold your breath here. One more. Hold it. Now go ahead and put on your overcoat. So you're going over, under the arms. I like to put my hands inside the stirrups. And I need a little more tension on this. So I'm gonna grab in a little bit. Oh, got the arms all the way out. And cross. Working the pectorals. We did a lot of upper back work, so kind of balance it out here by focusing on the pecs. I do like to do about twice as much work in the upper back as I do in the pectorals. All right, there's our stretching music. Like I said, I'm gonna do my housekeeping later, so oh, I'll get that later. Breathe in, exhale out. You're gonna make like a tree blowing in the wind. Roots are wide, legs are wide apart. Take it over to one side. This is one of my favorite stretching tracks. Got that nice saxophone percussion and piano. Let's go to the other side. It sounds sultry. Now bring it back to the middle. Breathe in and exhale out. Put the hands above the knees. You want to get a good stretch for the low back. Relax the shoulders. Reach across to one side. And emphasize that one hemisphere of the lower back. 
and now the other side. These are stretches we need to be doing daily. Even when you have not worked out, stretch daily anyway. Breathe in. Exhale out. Let's put one leg forward. You're going to bend the knee. Got your hand above the knee, the front leg. And then you're going to reach forward. So this is a way you've got some forward flexion going in the lower back, but we've got that hand there to support. And release. One of my favorites coming up, the runner's lunge. Slide that leg back on your hardwood floor and reach forward. Now take that arm up. Let's bring it back. You don't actually have to press it back. If you're getting the stretch, whatever works for you. So we're getting a stretch of the hip flexors, the lower leg on that side, and the quads. Let's come out to the other side. Let's press that heel down. Toes up. Lean it out. So I find myself regularly after the pandemic uh, working out in my living room, which I did during the worst of it. And I still go to the gyms though, ride my bicycle. Let's stretch it back, knees over. Some good variety, cross training. Sometimes I even work out to my own fitness show. And bring it back to the center. We got the legs wide apart, take it over one side. And then stretch, reach across. You want to stretch the groin and the inner thigh. Now bring it back to the other side, reach it out. And bring it back to the center, breathe in. Exhale out, drop the chin to the chest. Take it over one side. Stretch out right along the side of the neck, the trapezius. And bring it down and to the other side. And I want to thank you for joining me here in my living room. And hope to join you again soon. Now I got to get to that housework. Where's the broom? Where's the vacuum cleaner? 